Hi there, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 8.3, connecting fractions to division. Our essential question is how does a fraction represent division? That's what we're going to be working on today. Go ahead and turn in your Go Math book to lesson 8.3. Let's read this division problem together for number one. It says six students share. Now share is my clue word that we're dividing. So six students share eight apples equally. That's another clue word. How many apples does each student get? So you're dividing up eight apples among six students. So your, your equation will be eight divided by six because there's eight apples dividing into six groups or six people. So you can actually look at the fraction bar as a sign to divide. So it would be eight divided by six, which is also a fraction greater than one whole because it can be changed to a mixed number. So let's think. If there's eight apples and there's six kids, you already know each kid's gonna at least get one apple because there's six kids. So here are my apples. Each one's going to get one apple. But now you can see we have two out of the eight left over. Now because we're sharing it among six different people, we, I'm gonna cut each one of these apples into six. Okay. So each person can get one six from each of these. Okay, so we have one six plus one six is two six. And that is also known as one third. Because if you look at this portion right here, and you stick it right there, that's actually one third of a whole. That's why two six is equivalent to one third. Now we learned back in fourth grade that whenever you have a fraction that's improper, you just divide. Six groups go into eight one whole time, and then you have two six left over, also known as one third. So question two says 10 boys share seven cereal bars equally. I see that clue word, share and equally. So 10 boys are sharing seven cereal bars. So, you, so to write this as a fraction, well, you just write your how many you're sharing among how many groups. So it's gonna be seven bars divided by 10 people. So that means if 10 boys share seven cereal bars equally, what fraction of a cereal bar does each boy get? They're gonna get 7 tenths. And here's a picture to show you why. All right, I went ahead and drew the seven bars we're talking about. We're dividing them equally into 10 parts because there's 10 boys. So when I cut them into 10 parts, if each boy gets one part of each bar, that's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. So this model shows you why seven divided by 10 is seven tenths. Now for question number three, it says eight friends share 12 pies equally. I see share and equally. Now they're sharing 12 pies, so that's what you're dividing. That's our dividend. So our equation will be 12, which is how many pies. We're sharing them or dividing them equally among eight people. So that's where our equation is 12 divided by eight. So how many pies does each friend get? Well, 12 divided by eight, we would write as a fraction 12 divided by eight. Remember, this fraction bar represents divided by. So it's 12 divided by eight. Now you can see that it's an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and change that to our mixed number. One whole and four eighths, or better known as one and a half. And let's talk about why. Here's the picture. Okay, so here's the model that I created. I went ahead and made 12 pies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now we can assume that each person gets one whole pie because there's 12 pies and there's eight people. And that's where we get our one whole. Now you can see that we have four pies left over. We wanna share them with eight friends. So I cut them into eighths. And now each friend will get four parts of those because look, here's one person gets these four eights. This one gets these four eights. Four eights, four eights, four eights, four eights, four eights, and four eights. There's eight friends, and they each get a half of a pie, also known as four out of eight parts. And that's where we get one whole and four eights. And remember, you can check this with multiplication. Eight times one is eight. There's my eight pies. Plus four more 
equals 12, and they're cut into eighths. So let's take a look at question four. It says three girls share eight yards of fabric equally. I see the word share and equally, and they're sharing eight yards. That's our dividend. That's what you're dividing. So we have eight yards divided among three friends. So it's eight divided by three. So we write that as a fraction as eight divided by three, or eight thirds. Now let's go ahead and change that to a mixed number so we know how many yards of fabric each girl will get. So if you treat this like a division problem, 8 divided by 3, think of how many groups of 3 can go into 8. I know 2 groups of 3 can go into 8, and there will be, because that will be 6, and there's 2 left over. Alright, so let's go ahead and show why with the model. I'm starting off by creating 8 yards. Here are my 8 yards. Now we know if we're sharing them among 3 girls, I know each girl can get 2 yards so far. One. Two, three girls can each get two yards. So what's left over is we have two yards left over. So I'm gonna now change that into fractions. Remember, there are three girls to share the two yards among, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these into thirds. Now, if each girl is going to get one part of each of those, that would be two thirds, because there's one girl, two girls, and three girls. So let's make this last one green. So do you see how, let's say Sally, we'll just call her name Sally. This will be, she gets these two holes and then she'll get this orange section, which is two thirds. And we call it two thirds because it's one third plus one third is two thirds. All right, let's look at number seven. It says 12 students share three pizzas equally. So we know we're dividing. How many pizzas are there? There's three. So it'll be three pizzas divided by 12 friends. What fraction of a pizza does each student get? They'll get three twelfths. Here's a model Y. All right, so I went ahead and drew the model and I made three pizzas and I'm cutting them each into twelfths because there's 12 friends so they each can get one slice from each pizza. So here's gonna be one twelfth, one twelfth, and one twelfth. So let's say that's one person. So 1 12th plus 1 12th plus 1 12th equals 3 twelfths. Now we can also simplify that and call that 1 4th. And here's why. Imagine that you would take this piece right here plus this piece and this piece. And let's say you just put these two right here in this spot. If you were to look closely, that resembles 1 4th of a pizza. All right, so that's why 3 twelfths is equivalent to 1 4th. All right, for number eight, it says three sisters share five sandwiches equally. I see the word share and equally to tell me I'm dividing. Now there's three sisters and they're sharing five sandwiches. So five is what you're dividing, it's your dividend. So our equation is five divided by three and you write it like a fraction just like that. Remember this fraction bar means divided by. So how many sandwiches does each sister get? If there's five whole sandwiches and they're sharing them among three friends or three sisters, they'll each get five-thirds. And let's go ahead and see the model Y. Now, as you know, this is an improper fraction. So remember, to change an improper fraction to a mixed number, you divide. Five divided by three is going to equal one whole and two-thirds. And here's why. Each sister is going to get one sandwich apiece because there's three whole sandwiches right there. Now, there's two sandwiches left over. So I'm going to cut them into thirds because there's three sisters to share them. So let's give one third to one sister and the other sandwich, she gets the other third. So one third plus one third is two thirds. So a sister will get one whole sandwich and two thirds. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problem solving at the bottom of the page. Number nine says there are 12 students in a jewelry making class and there are eight set of charms. What fraction of a set of charms will each student get? Now remember, there are eight set of charms and there are a total of 12 students. So we're dividing the eight set of charms among 12 students. So our equation will be eight divided by 12. So to write that as a fraction, you just put what you're dividing, which is your dividend, divided by 12. So each student will get 8 twelfths of the charms. You can also simplify that. 
I'm going to divide my numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor, which is 4, and each student would get 2 thirds of the charms. And here's a model of y. Now let's pretend that each one of these is the set of charms. All right, there's only eight sets, but there's 12 students. So you know that you cannot give each student one whole set, which is why our fraction is less than one whole. But if I were to divide each one of these charm sets into 12 parts, then we can give each student one part of each of the sets. Okay, so here's my picture. I just went ahead and divided each one of these into 12s, and I shaded in 1 12th for each one because one student would get 1 12th of each set. So do 1 12, 2 12, 3 12, 4 12, 5 12, 6 12, 7 12, 8 12, which is why 8 12 is the answer. Okay, for number 10, if you want to try this one on your own, you can press pause and then check it with me, or you can just do it along with me. For number 10, it says five friends share six cheesecakes equally. Now remember, there's six cheesecakes that they're sharing, and there's five friends. So how many cheesecakes will each friend get? Well, we know that there's six cheesecake total. That's how many they're sharing, and you're dividing it among five friends. So what would be our answer? Well, all you have to do is write it as a fraction. Six divided by five. So each friend would get six fifths. However, that is improper, so let's go ahead and change that to a mixed number. Each friend will get one whole cheesecake and one fifth of the last one. And here's why. Okay, I went ahead and made six cheesecakes here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now each friend's going to get one a piece because there's five friends so they each can have one whole. But now they're gonna split up this last cheesecake. Now because there's five friends that you're sharing it with, each friend can get one of those pieces. And this is why each friend would have one whole and one fifth. Okay, so go ahead and turn your Go Math page over to the back side, and let's look at questions one and two. These are going to be the two that you'll be doing that are similar to what we just had on our video. And then go ahead and do questions three through six for your own practice of review work. And when you're done answering your two questions, write either one, two, three, or four at the top of your page, depending on how you feel. And we will check these questions tomorrow in class. Have a great night. Bye-bye.